Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I just wanted to celebrate the PlayStation Vita because this week, February 15, 2022, it actually is PlayStation Vita 10th anniversary since it came out here in the United States. I did get my play my first PlayStation Vita, which was the original one in black one, on December 20 something, uh, right before Christmas, um, before it actually came out in the United States because. You know, I wanted it so bad, I paid a whole bunch of money to get my hands on it. And I started making videos from that on. Um, and then on February 15 or 15, yeah, 15, came out the new PlayStation Vita. I believe we also got the Assassin's Creed version, which I think it was around the same date. The, the white uh, Assassin's Creed version with uh, the original version with the PlayStation Vita. I loved it. And then this, I believe it's my third one. I don't think I actually bought another PlayStation Vita. Uh, this was the Slim, of course. And I believe they switched from OLED to um, LCD. So they actually did downgrade the screen of the PlayStation Vita Slim. Uh, but I did like the way it looks. You know, I like that it was a lot smaller, a lot thinner, very nice rounded edges. I really enjoyed it. Of course, the screen on the original is better than this because it's actually, it's actually OLED. Uh, but they did it just to cut prices, you know, just to cut the costs. They started cutting co uh, the cost for the device because they, you know, they were just giving up already. So they decided to go ahead and cut prices, costs on the screen, and so on and so on. Now, 10 years later... Uh, there's still is here. You can still let me show you guys what you can do here 10 years later uh, You can st still check your trophies here. I see here. You can still check check your trophies here from your PlayStation Network as well Of course if you have your Nintendo uh, if you have your account linked to your your PlayStation um, account which that's the way you should be uh, you're gonna see all your trophies here You're gonna see your PlayStation 5 PlayStation 4 trophies here uh, with the new account level as well that was uh, changed. I think I, I think it was actually changed last year. You can see that you can see the new count level, which is different than before. And you got here. You switch to PlayStation Vita. You can see the PlayStation Vita v, uh, trophies there. Uh, here you can also use Remote Play, but the Remote Play is only gonna work with PlayStation Four. And I believe it worked with PlayStation 3. Let me know in the comments. I don't remember, but I have a whole bunch of uh, playlists with uh, PlayStation remote videos on my channel as well. Um, here, the PlayStation Store was actually going to be shut down last year. July last year, I remember I did a video for it. Um, Sony decided not to. So right now, you can still get download a whole bunch of games here. And the last game that I see here that was released... It says July 19, 2021, Killer Dolls United, Brotherhood United, uh, July 28, Ultra Mission, July 28. The last games that came out actually came out uh, last year, July and August. I, there must be some game from August there. Um, you can still download if you have a whole bunch of games that you claimed via PlayStation Plus. You can still go here, here to your... Um, game section <coughs> excuse me and go ahead and download whatever game you you claimed via your playstation plus so that's one thing that at least you can still do i have a whole bunch of games that i claimed like is that uh, liberty story city story i could go ahead and hit download and just go ahead and download whatever game i want there that i claim via playstation plus so that's cool that you can actually do that um here when it comes to the media application netflix doesn't work hulu doesn't work they do load up but they do not work they won't let you play videos uh twitch i actually load it up it, the application loads up and you can see the channels you can see the the top channels you can see the top games and all that but you cannot load the videos i already did try to load the videos right before i started this video and you cannot load the videos so it will give you an error like, you see there, it actually loads up, and it looks like, you know, it wants to play, but once I hit on the video, somebody playing live, see, if I hit right there, let's see if actually, that's this guy playing Dying Light 2, story play, okay, for some reason, I think, I don't know, I already did try, and it didn't want to play any of the videos, um, the application that works 
flawlessly is the uh, Twitter app. The Twitter application still works flawlessly and it looks pretty cool, you know, kind of old school. You got your, your feed here, right? You can go ahead into the feed, see the photos, the people posting. Uh, you can go to ads, dimensions. You can send to your emails, the messages, direct messages. So you can actually mess with Twitter here. You can still post messages on Twitter. You can add a photo from your library here to your messages. You know, Twitter application works flawlessly. Everything else, you know, there's a whole bunch of application here that doesn't work. Um, the camera, uh, the camera, the camera, the camera, do, do, do. the camera application still works. Uh, you can still take pictures. Of course, the quality of the pictures are not going to be good. I like see here, you can take a picture there of what video. There you go. <laughs> so take pictures and save it to your library. And you can take selfies as well. Switch here to selfie. Hello. <laughs> you can do all that. Uh, but, you know, then you can go ahead here to your gallery and see all the pictures taken. You know, these are pictures saved. But then you can go ahead to pictures taken as well. So on, so on. Um, games that I have here is uh, Persona 4 Golden, Killzone Mercenaries, which is one of my favorite games here on the on the PlayStation Vita. Um, Golf, Hot Shot Golf, World Invitation, an awesome game as well. Right after this video, after I mention all these games and all that, I will share with you guys a uh, bunch more gameplay of video games that I loved here on the PlayStation Vita. You got Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker, Dino Crisis 2, uh, that's a PlayStation 1 classic game. Uh, you got um, this game right here, which is World of Final Fantasy. Uh, one of my only games that I have physically, because I'm one of those that don't keep physical games. Um, and you got Ocean Horn, you got Spider-Man. I got the physical game somewhere, I couldn't find it. I think I gave it away or something like that. I got PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I'll share video gameplay with you guys. Little Deviants was, was one of the first games that came out for the PlayStation Vita that shared and showed all the functions of the PlayStation Vita. Because remember, the Vita has touch pads on the back. It uses the camera. It uses the front touch screen. So this game was one of the first games that actually came out that shared and showed all the power that was capable of the PlayStation Vita. And I'll share gameplay with that as well. You got Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was one of my favorite games. I got Lara Croft Go, Star Sky Force Anniversary, Sparkle 2, Severed. The game was really good. Total Recall. I like those games here. Um, here I also got uh, Plant, Plants vs. Zombie, God of War Collection. Beautiful in this in, in this system. Injustice, Gods Among Us. Awesome on this system. Kick B, very good, but I can't share gameplay because it has a lot of copyright music, but it's really, really good as well on the PlayStation Vita. Joe Danger 2, amazing. And of course, MLB The Show, which it was one of the last MLB games that came out on the PlayStation Vita. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I still play it. I still, once in a while, I still load it up and play it. And that's it. You know, right now, all the other games that I own are actually digital that were you know claimed via playstation plus so at any time i could just go ahead and download whatever game i want here i hope this never closes up like for example i got raymond origins playstation vita if i want to download that game i just go ahead and hit the download button and it starts downloading look at that prince of Persia revelations you know i got so many great games here i just want to make this video because it's the 10th year anniversary since it came out on the united states in February 15, 2012. And, you know, right now I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to finish the video with a whole bunch of gameplay that I enjoyed here on the PlayStation Vita. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this um, anniversary for the PlayStation Vita 10 years later. Did you ever get to play a PlayStation Vita? Are you one of those that are now searching for a PlayStation Vita? Which I'm telling you guys. Right now, it's not worth it because people are overpricing these too much. Right now, they're selling for $300, $400.
I seen them very very expensive. Same thing goes with games. So a lot of people are overpricing the games since it's something that you can't find now. And the cards, of course, one of the one of the things that killed the PlayStation Vita was also the proprietary card, proprietary card for the uh, system as well. That's one thing that was very very expensive. And right now I only have a 32 gigabytes of storage. That's it, a 32 gigabytes of storage, and I managed to have all those games right here. And every time I want to download a new game, I have to delete one of the games I already have here. So it kind of sucks, uh, but that's the way it is. This device right here is the PlayStation TV. This right here is the PlayStation TV. Uh, this was meant to actually play PlayStation Vita games on your TV by just plugging your you know, your PlayStation Vita card right here. And you put your PlayStation Vita card right there. Or you can actually download the games digitally here. And you can put the S the card right there. And you will store the games there. This will go to the TV. This will go to the internet. And this thing was really cool if it actually worked. But it never did, it, did properly work. So that kind of sucks. So other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys liked the videos gameplay that I'm finishing the video with. Thanks for watching. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.
off it'll turn the tide we'll be heroes they'll name high schools after us and then there's the money
this way. Four up ahead. Watch out for sniping. The place is lousy. Porcupine online. <laughs> 